A purse sen is a large wall of net that is spread around an entire area or school of fish. A purse sen has a buoy along the top line with a lead line threaded through loops along the bottom. Once a school of fish is located, a small boat encircles the school with the net. The lead line is then pulled in, pulling, the net closed at the bottom, preventing the fish from escaping by swimming down. His illustration. His wallet. Fish are caught by hauling the net aboard or dragging it alongside the boat. Purse sends can reach lengths of over 6,500 feet, 2,000 meters, and depths of 650 feet, 200 meters, varying in size depending on the vessel, mesh size, and target species. Finding a school of fish is one of the most difficult parts of this fishing technique and includes natural cues such as gathering seabirds, rippling water, and or fast-moving dolphins. Helicopters scan the water for natural signals from the air to guide boats towards schools of fish. Use radar fish finders to determine the exact location and size of schools of fish. Target species. Small and large schools of fish, from small sardines to large tuna. Squid. Fisheries. Across US waters, including Alaska and Hawaii. Risks to sea turtles. Piercing is a non-selective fishing method that catches everything in its vicinity, including protected species. Sea turtles can be caught in a purse sen as the net is being lowered and then become entangled when it is pulled in. Entangled sea turtles can suffer injuries to their fins and shells from the force of the net as it is pulled in. In a large catch, turtles are at risk of being crushed under the weight of the towline. Captured turtles can be released alive if they are quickly pulled up and removed from the net. Risks to marine mammals. Pine nets can easily enclose marine mammals along with the target species when they are cast. Historically, dolphins have even been used as a natural signal to guide purse sen fishing vessels to areas where large schools of fish congregate, called dolphin fishing. Once the net is set, the encircled marine mammals cannot escape and may become entangled, injured, or stressed. Even with a quick recovery, the delicate bodies and internal organs of marine mammals often cannot withstand the weight of the net or the impact of being placed on a vessel. In the US fisheries industry, the most commonly caught species include bottlenose dolphins and humpback whales. A purse sen is a long wall of net suspended vertically in the water used to encircle schools of fish. The purse sen is framed by a floating line at the top and a weighted line at the bottom. Using a draw line, fishermen can pull the bottom of the net to herd fish into the middle of the net. This technique is used to catch schools of fish that live near the ocean surface. Advantages A great way to catch schools of fish. Since the school is the target, incidental bycatch of species outside the target school is usually minimal. Discuses. Trawling large numbers of a species can become unsustainable if the population of that species cannot tolerate it. 
Contact with the bottom can also be harmful to habitats and sensitive organisms. However, trawling can also encourage fishermen to maintain a safe distance from the bottom. In a purse sen, the top part of the net is left floating on the surface of the sea and the bottom part of the net is weighted to pull the net down. A rope is threaded through the bottom of the net, pulling and tightening the net like a purse to trap the fish inside. The net is then pulled back towards the boat and the fish are pumped up or lifted with a small net or the entire net is brought aboard. The size of the purse sen can vary depending on the species of fish targeted. Environmental impacts and management Purse sen fishing is very selective as it usually targets only one species at a time. This means that purse sen fishing has very little impact on other marine life. Purse sens are placed close to the surface of the ocean and do not touch the seabed, so their impact on the marine environment is also very small. In some countries, purse sens may be placed around a floating object such as marine litter. These objects are called fish aggregation devices, fads, and large numbers of fish are often attracted to them. This means that if a purse sen is placed around a fad, many other marine species may be caught. The use of fads for purse sen fishing is not permitted in Australia. S-E-I-N-E-T. A sen is a wall of net used to enclose a school of fish such as sardines, mackerel, squid and some tunas, at or near the surface. A draw cable is passed through the bottom of the net. As the cable pulls the net. A sen is a wall of net used to enclose a school of fish such as sardines, mackerel, squid and some tunas, at or near the surface. A draw cable is passed through the bottom of the net. As the cable pulls the net taut, enclosing the fish in a bag, the fish are pulled onto the boat by the dip net in a process called brailing. A. A weighted net and buoy are spread out, forming a screen around the catch. B. A draw cable at the bottom of the weighted net is tightened or pulled in, closing the bottom of the net. C. The catch and equipment are pulled towards the boat. D. Once the fish have gathered in the bag, a smaller mesh net called a fine mesh net or fish pump transports the fish from the trawl to the boat. Danish and Scotland Netting Danish and Scottish trawling is a net and line used to catch bottom-dwelling fish, such as sand dabs, flounder, sole, and cod.
Bike trawling, which uses heavy cables, doors, and trawling nets. Danish and Scottish trawling uses a net and line spread out in a straight line. Danish and Scottish trawling is a net and line used to catch bottom-dwelling fish, such as sand dabs, flounder, sole, and cod. Unlike trawling, which uses heavy cables, doors, and trawling nets, Danish and Scottish trawling uses a net and line spread out in a diamond pattern along the sandy bottom of the ocean floor. The fish are herded into the path of the net by the lines, gently stirring up a cloud of mud. The Danish trawl holds the boat in a fixed position and drags the gear along the bottom to bring it back to the boat. The Scottish trawling technique drags the net and rope along the ocean floor slowly, just enough to close the net and bring the gear onto the boat, a method known as fly dragging. A. With a buoy at one end, nearly a mile of rope and a lightweight net are spread from a boat back to the buoy. This gear is light and is used on fine sandy bottoms. B. The circle of rope and net is completed and the rope and net fall to the bottom and settle gently. The boat slowly moves forward, pulling and pulling the gear and catch, as the fish are herded into the net. C. This slow and gentle method of dragging the gear and catch back to the boat leaves significantly less bottom depression than trawling. It results in very low bycatch levels and the nets are designed to create less drag and use fuel more efficiently. Gill sets. Open ocean gill sets. Girdle nets and drift nets, passive methods, can be used to catch bottom or midwater fish. A gill net is a wall of net laid in a straight line, equipped with a weight at the bottom and a float at the top, and is usually anchored at each end. Fish. Girdle nets and drift nets are passive methods that can be used to catch bottom or midwater fish. Girdle nets are a wall of net laid in a straight line, equipped with a weight at the bottom and a float at the top, and are usually anchored at each end. Fish such as swordfish, thresher sharks, and groupers attempt to swim through the net and are caught when their gill covers become entangled, hence the name gill net. If the fish are left to drift freely, the method is called drift netting and is more active. River girls. Girls are used in rivers to catch specific species such as spawning salmon and sturgeon. Girls are used in rivers to catch specific species that swim in specific rivers such as spawning salmon and sturgeon.
traps. S-P-L-E-N-T-Y. A spillway is a structure constructed from branches or rocks that impedes the free movement of fish such as mackerel and herring by blocking the flow of water, and then directs the fish into fenced areas as they migrate. Spillover is a structure constructed from branches or rocks that impedes the free movement of fish such as mackerel and herring by blocking the flow of water, and then directs the fish into fenced areas as they migrate. Fish Traps a fish trap is a large mesh or mesh trap suspended in the water or on the bottom, marked with buoys, weights and anchors. Fish can swim in, small fish can escape, and non-target fish can be released alive when the fisherman returns to harm. A fish trap is a large mesh or wire trap suspended in the water or on the bottom, marked with a buoy, weighted, and anchored. Fish can swim in, small fish can escape, and non-target fish can be released alive when the fisherman returns to harvest the target fish. Hooks and lining. Jigging. Jigging is the practice of setting a line, with a hook or lure, that is continuously jerked. This motion, performed by hand or with a jigging machine, causes fish, such as cod and squid, to bite. Jigging is the practice of setting a line, with a hook or lure, that is continuously jerked. This motion, performed by hand or with a jigging machine, causes fish, such as cod and squid, to bite. Midwater longline fishing. Longline fishing uses baited hooks, on the branches of a single main line, to catch fish at any depth. The line can be anchored in areas too rough for trawling, or drifted, suspended from a float. Midwater, or midwater, fishing uses baited hooks to attract fish. Longline uses baited hooks, on the branches of a single main line, to catch fish at any depth. The line can be anchored in areas too rough for trawling, or drifted, suspended from a float. Midwater, or midwater, long lines are used to attract fish such as swordfish, tuna, and opa. Unfortunately, they also catch marine life such as turtles, marine mammals, and birds. Lines can be modified to reduce bycatch by using circle hooks shaped so that the hook does not get caught in the mouth of a turtle, colored baits, weights to sink the bait faster, target positioning, and tory lines to scare seabirds. Bottom fishing. Demisal, also known as bottom longline, is a much more environmentally friendly method of catching fish, such as true halibut and cod, which live on the ocean floor, than the very harmful alternative fishing methods of bottom trawling or dredging. Circle hooks are used to Bottom longline, or bottom longline, is a much more environmentally friendly method of catching fish, such as true halibut and cod, which live on the ocean floor, than the very harmful alternative fishing methods of bottom trawling or dredging. Sir
Circle hooks are used to improve sea turtle mortality. Tracking OR Dragnet. Midwater fishing. Tracking or trawling is the fishing method that accounts for the largest percentage of fish caught. Trawling is simply described as dragging a net through the water. A midwater trawler drags a funnel-shaped net through the water column between the surface and the bottom. Trawling is the fishing method that accounts for the largest percentage of fish caught. Trawling is simply described as dragging a net through the water. A trawler drags a funnel-shaped net through the water column between the surface and the bottom, catching midwater fish such as cod and pollock, thus having less impact on fishery habitat and less bycatch. Soft bottom fishing with sand and mud tracing. Sand and mud trawling, or soft bottom trawling, has less impact on the ocean floor because these environments and the species that live in them, such as petrali sole and sand dabs, are able to adapt to periodic shifts caused by storms and currents. Scale, tar. Sand and mud trawling, or soft bottom trawling, has less impact on the ocean floor because these environments and the species that live in them, such as petrali sole and sand dabs, are able to adapt to periodic shifts caused by storms and currents. Scale, targeting skill and gear are the factors that determine whether this fishing method is sustainable. Rock trangs. Rock trawling is the most environmentally damaging fishing method. It drags a net tied with extremely heavy cables and rollers across the ocean floor, sweeping away everything in its path, including Rock trawling is the most environmentally damaging fishing method. It drags a net tied with extremely heavy cables and rollers across the ocean floor, sweeping away everything in its path, including all marine life and plants, as well as the habitats they need to survive. Turtle extraction devices, TEDs. Turtle extrusion devices, or TEDs, are improvements to shrimp trawls that consist of iron bars sewn into the net adjacent to open flaps that function as escape hatches a sea turtles and large fish are drawn into the net by the current and swim through turtle extrusion devices or TEDs are improvements to shrimp trawls that consist of iron bars sewn into the net adjacent to open flaps that function as escape hatches a sea turtles and large fish are drawn into the net by the current and swim or drift up the bars where they cannot pass B. The water gently pushes the turtles up the bars and out the escape hatch. C. The target shrimp pass through the bars and remain in the net while the turtles and large fish swim freely. Bypass reduction device, bird. A bycatch reduction device is a hole in a shrimp trawl that allows finfish or other marine animals to escape while the target shrimp species are brought toward the top of the net. BRDs are required in shrimp trawls in federal waters. A bycatch reduction device is a hole in a shrimp trawl that allows finfish or other marine animals to escape while the target shrimp species are brought toward the top of the net. BRDs are required in shrimp trawls in federal waters of the Gulf of Mexico and the South Atlantic.